guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going back today. We're gonna be doing a story time slash wig application video. So, also, I woke up from a nap, so my mind is like literally like delirious right now. So, first, I start off. Hello? First, I'm gonna start off with the unboxing. So, this hair is from. Arabella Hair. Um, thank you, Arabella Hair, for sending me the. Eh, I can't talk. Thank you, Arabella Hair, for sending me Thank you, Arabella Helfer. <laughs> Thank you, Arabella Hair, for sending me this wig. This wig is, I believe, 16 inches. What look like? Hey, how? Uh, like she moving out? Like, <laughs> baby, whoever, whoever styled this shit, you knew, you knew what you was doing. It's giving rogue. It's giving rogue. It's giving rogue. And if you don't know who that is, bitch, literally just stop talking to me. So before we get started into the video and into the story time about my first spot, I'm gonna go off camera and bleach the knots and pluck the front, and then I'm gonna be back and yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It was super late at fucking night, so I, I just had to get my life together. I also have some sermies with my little metal straw. It's delicious. So, my first physical altercation. My first and only physical altercation, by the way. I do not fight. This was when I was in college. I was all of 18, 19 years old. So, how many years ago? Three, four. Ooh. I am bitch kind of old. Let me just start y'all. I don't even know where to start. Basically, when I was in college, I was dating this girl. I did not want to be in this relationship at first. I was very much on my bad shit, yeah, on my bad bitch. Single bitch shit, like doing my thing, really not trying to be tied down. And so I had the house. I gotta be real, I didn't have a hoe. You know, if you had a car, you would want a hoe. I even had one person, like, I would come over to their house just to do laundry, because I didn't want to do the community laundry. Like, it was a whole thing. And I don't care, bitch. I was not doing anything with these girls. And even if I was, bitch, so. Basically, this one girl, we're gonna name her, what's, what should I name her? Mm. Frappuccino. So Frappuccino came along. I met her at a party. We were looking at each other. We were just like obviously attracted to each other. We started talking. She is my number. So you know everything's cool. Me and Frappuccino kicking it. She's coming over, staying in my dorm, and you know I just kind of let her know like in so many words like you know girl. <laughs> This ain't gonna be that. I'm not looking for a relationship right now, I just got out of one. She's, okay, yeah, all right, I understand. Cool. Now, I want you to understand the type of women that I was dealing with at the time. I was dating studs and stems. If you don't know what that is, look it the fuck up. I'm not gonna explain to you the whole LGBTQ shit. I'm figure it out. You should know by now, it's 2020 fucking too. Be fucking for real. She was like, stem, stud, stem, mixture of that. Just keep that in mind. So, Frappuccino's like, yeah, I understand, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, cool. You have understanding. So you know, I'm continuing on doing my shit. You <laughs> I'm over here thought in the bobby. Basically, I start to notice Frappuccino starting to look jelly. And you know, it's cool to an extent. But at the same time, I'm very open and honest with you. I had this discussion already about it. She starts getting a little peeved about certain shit she should not be getting peeved about. And I wasn't stopping where I was going. Cause I told you already, I don't want to be in a relationship. So at this point, how you feel is how you feel. There's nothing I can really do about it. If you want to keep dealing with me, then that's on you. But like, I remember she bought me like flowers for Valentine's day, a big teddy bear. Like she was really like doing a lot, a lot. So I'm like, okay, like accepting her gifts, but also like still being cautious. So as time goes on, I basically get guilt tripped into a relationship. I didn't want to be in one, but this was somebody that I cared about at the time and was like, you know what? We spent a lot of time together, fuck it. Knowing I did not have the capability to be in a relationship. We all done did it before, don't fucking judge me, okay? This is where things start to go downhill. So, I had an ex that I was still dealing with, which is also part of the reason why I did not want to be in a relationship. And so Frappuccino did not like it. Frappuccino was like, no, you can't talk to your ex. You can't do this, you can't do that. But it's like, you know, I knew my situation with my ex, which is why I told you, I can't be in a relationship, mother. So I was like, damn, bitch, like you just coming in my life and you just like changing everything. Like I didn't even want this. I was just so mad, bro. I was also scared to be alone. You know, I was just letting this stuff slide that I knew I should not have been on that slot. Cause 
Hold on. If you could just hold for a brief moment. Okay. So, like I said, yeah. I wasn't trying to really cut my ex completely off because I wasn't at that place yet. I ended up being forced to cut my ex off, which was stupid as fuck because I didn't really truly and that caused more problems. So basically, me and Frappuccino are in one of the most toxic relationships to date that I have ever been in. Because I didn't want to fucking be in it. I'm still kind of fucking around. Like, I'm still not trying to be tied down. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna tie me down. It's this one girl that I was also messing with before I had, or I kind of around the same time as Frappuccino, and we gonna name her... We gonna name her Morphe. Morphe? I had a crush on Morphe, like, hey, like, she was, like, one of my biggest crushes. We had, like, kicked it a couple times, but at the end of the day, we ended up being cool. I would kick it with Morphe, like, in her dorm. But the thing was, Morphe dorm and Frappuccino's dorm were in the same complex actually on the same floor I'm wrong for that I'm wrong for that I know but I was to be fair I was fucking with Morphe first and then found out Frappuccino like when I first walked in Frappuccino's dorm I was like this bitch <clears throat> this is nice <laughs> no in the back of my head bitch this is the same motherfucking floor as Morphe. But bitch, that's my none day fucking business at that point. Stop. This is where shit starts to get a little hectic. So like I said, me and Frappuccino's relationship was so fucking toxic, bro. It was so bad. It was very like verbally abused, abused borderline physically abused. Shit starts to get a little domestic. Like I would wake up and go to class and me and my roommate would have our dorm door unlocked. We lived in the very back of the hall. Like we knew everybody on our, on our fucking floor. Like. It was whatever. Frappuccino started figuring that shit out. So a couple times when we got in a little altercation, I wasn't speaking to her for a very good reason. I would leave and go to class. And while I was in class, she would go into my fucking dorm and be waiting for me. I remember I literally walked in my dorm. I see her. I was like, why are you in my room? So that's when I started noticing like, okay, girl, something is off. So then whatever, we end up talking back. Like I said, it was toxic. She got me a cat, which I still have to this day, which is actually Milo. If you know my cats. Milo. Actually right here. He heard me say his name and then started running. This is a motherfucker that went through it with me. Okay, bitch. Okay, damn. She bought me my love for like 10 fucking dollars. She had a job, so she was making money, blah, blah, blah. I did not have a job. I'm a freshman in college. I don't have a fucking job. We bought all the supplies for Milo. Like, she buys it because I don't have no money. But in total, it's probably like, what, like 40 bucks for everything? I'm telling you the price for a reason. <laughs> So we get in an argument one day. She's like, that's my fucking cat. I'm gonna take him back, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, you're not. She's like, all right, whatever, Trinity. I'm like, don't take my cat back. Cause you know, I love this fucking cat. She's like, whatever. So I leave my dorm and I leave Milo in there because I would leave him when I went to class. I come fucking back. My fucking cat was gone. And I was like, where the fuck is my fucking cat? Relax, I just took it to my friend's house so she could see him. I just, no, bitch, you did that shit on purpose. You did that shit to piss me off and you're fucking foul. Give me my fucking cat back. She's like, I was gonna give you your cat back, but since you're talking to me like that, now you're not getting it back. Later that day, she comes back to my dorm. The police had to come because she would not get on my fucking dorm. And all they saw was me throwing shit at her because at this point I'm pissed because she just tried to come in my fucking room and take all my shit. I'm like, she took my cat. The police are not listening to me and they fucking wrote me up. So I'm already just like, fuck this bitch at this point. I basically like begged this bitch, give me my motherfucking cat back. She makes me pay $20 to get this fucking cat back. What the fuck ever, bitch? Fuck you. I still got him back. So at this point, I'm really like, fuck this bitch, because now you fucking with my fucking emotional support. Bitch, fuck. So this is where things go down, okay? This is where shit gets fucking real. Y'all remember Morphe? Mm -hmm. So I started being cool with Morphe again. Morphe had a clothing line that she was working on in school. I, I would go over to her dorm and help her with some stuff. You know, obviously Frappuccino wasn't fucking with that shit. And I didn't give a fuck. One day I was fucking livid and I was like, you know what? I want to piss this bitch off. Was this a healthy decision? <laughs> no. Would I do this now to this day? <laughs> No. But keep in mind, I'm 18 years old and I'm panicked and I'm mad because the bitch fucked with my fucking cat and invaded my space and I got written up for it. You're not getting off that easily, bitch. If you thought you were going to walk away from this happy go lucky, you've lost your damn mind. What I went ahead and did, I, I explained to Morphe the situation. I put Morphe on to everything and Morphe was like, all right, so what, what, what's up? So I'm like, all right, so what we're about to do is, you know how Snapchat you can make a story and choose who can watch it? I said, we're going to make a story and only put her as the viewer. And make it look like your public story. She's like, all right, bet. We just post like me in the room like just chilling. Because we knew that would piss her off. Did we know the reaction that we were going to get 
No, we did not. Shit gets fucking crazy. A few minutes pass. Yeah. And we see that she views the story. We laughing, we laugh. Like laughing, like shit funny. Shit got unfunny real fucking fast. Shit went from hilarious to downright devious. I think all of like five more minutes passed. It was like a community area and then it, it was like rooms. Okay guys, so I did not explain that right. I was trying to tell you there was multiple of these community areas with different, it was like an apartment community living style and they were all down the hall from each other. So her set was down the hall from Frappuccino's set of community slash apartment dorm thingies. I don't know if I explained that any better. So she came down the hall, banged on the community door first. We like. Oh shit, bitch. Our faces were like. <laughs> we was like, oh fuck. Like, it's no fucking way this is this girl right now. Like, it's no, it's no real way. It can't be this girl. Like, it, it, she's not that crazy. You hear like, open the door. We not opening shit. Morphe is like, girl, it's locked. It's like she can't get in. She gets in. The community door is not locked. She finally, un like, tests the doorknob and gets in. So we hear her come in. We like, shit. Well, fuck. At this point, my heart is beating out of my chest because I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know what this girl is about to do. I just know that this girl is crazy at this point, and I don't know what we about to have to go through right now. We lock the door to Morphe's room. Frappuccino just bang on the door. Boop, 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 boop. We're not fucking, we're not opening the door. I'm telling her through the door, like, you might as well just go because I'm not opening this fucking door, bro. I'm not doing it. This is completely my fault at this point. I didn't think I was gonna get the reaction I got, but I was out for revenge, and I did not think that it was gonna turn into that. But at this point, there's nothing I can do. Like, it's all my fault. Morphe like, bro, fuck this. I'm finna call my people, because we about to have to fight. I'm like, girl, I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> my little fucking ass, my little ass. You want me to fight? I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck. She calls this girl over who could fight. We're gonna name this girl Cocoa Butter. So Cocoa Butter comes over. She comes to the door. She's looking at back. She don't like move, bitch. I'm like, oh. we can hear them through the door. Morphe like about to open the door. I'm like, Morphe, don't open this door right now. If you open this door, she's gonna come up in this room. She's like, no, she not. She you got. I'm like, you open this door. She gonna bust up in this room and we're done. Don't, just wait a minute. Wait till she back the fuck up. So I'm guessing as Frappuccino heard me and Morphe calling people to come over, she called her people over. But the issue was, these was men. These was grown ass men. I'm like, hold the fuck up. So eventually, Morphe just like, fuck it, bitch. I'm letting this girl in. I'm like, just tell her slide in. Bro, I'm standing behind the door. I open it real quick, crack it through. Cocoa butter slap through, we trying to shut that bitch. Did not fucking work. Cocoa butter comes in the room and motherfucking Frappuccino comes in right after her. I'm like, fuck. Frappuccino looks at me, she looks around the room, she looks at me, she cocks her fucking hand back behind her body. Oh, I've never seen a hand cocked so far back and she whipped that shit around and smacked me dead in my face. My neck went, I was like, Y'all, I don't know what awoke, what was awoken in me at that moment. I never been in a fight before. I just knew I had to whoop that bitch ass for that. I said, bitch, I am tired. I've been abused. You done took my damn cat, bitch. You done did it all. And now you done fucked up. Because now I'm about to fuck you up. The bitch smacked the living shit out of me. I'm baffled. Cocoa butter baffled. Morphe is baffled. All of us is baffled. They looking at me like, what you finna do? It's like fuck bro. Is this really about to be my first fight? This is domestic as the fuck I do not condone the actions that I'm about to explain to you next all the anger woke up in me and I straight up Punched that bitch dead in her fucking nose. I was like me 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 I never fought before so I'm just swinging. I put her up against the wall me me She's trying to push me out push me out. I'm me 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 I'm literally just swinging Swinging, 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 swinging. Cocoa butter and Morphe is like, all right, all right, all right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I'm like, hell no. She had it like full lock. I'm pulling them bitches so fucking hard. I'm loosening the fuck out of them hoes. She started pulling my fucking lace front. I hear my lace front peel, I get even madder. I fucking pull that bitch down to the ground by the fucking full locks and I fucking start hitting her some more. At this point, Cocoa butter and Morphe are like trying to like get, they're like, they're holding, they're like, stop, 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 stop. So Frappuccino finally has enough and gets the fuck out. I'm in the room. I never felt this kind of adrenaline in my life. I'm talking mad shit through the door. I'm like, yeah, bitch, that's why you lit, cause her nose
nose bleeding. I was like, yeah, bitch, why are you licking, bitch? I was like, you licking, bitch? You ain't even, I, you ain't even touch me, bitch. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm just like literally just like talking so much shit right now. So things get quiet. We're like, all right, she left. Like, you know, we're good. We were not fucking good. I guess she was mad because I was talking shit through the door and she was embarrassed in front of her little friends that her nose was bleeding. Literally, she opens the door, comes back in the room, punches me so hard that I fly across the room. This is the door. I'm standing right where you are. Well, maybe like right here. She goes. Boom. Well, all her fucking might. I was very tiny back then. If someone punches me, I'm not ready for it. Of course. Bitch, I fully two feet lifted off the ground, flew to the other side of the room, and fell behind a chair. Like, she threw me. I got up so fucking fat. All I see is Morphe and Coco on her face like... I'm like, hell, hell no. no. Frappuccino runs out the fucking door. I immediately run out the door. My mouth is like leaking blood at this point. She punched me in my shit. And I don't respect her for that because she fucking slapped me. Bottom line is Frappuccino and her friends leave. She escapes. So at this point, I'm just sitting there like, I just want to go to my house. I want to go to sleep. I want to fix my lip. My shit is still, it's, you know, I, I want to go home. We go home. We are like, what the fuck, bro? Like, we just go to our dorm. But, bitch, I went out the next night. Trigger warning, bruises and busted lip. But this is me the next night. As you can see, my lip is pretty swollen. The bottom lip is huge. But this is me out at a bar literally the next night. Do not do this. This is a very unhealthy lifestyle. I do not condone this behavior. Y'all will never fucking believe that after that fight, I went back to that girl. I know, I know, I know. I know what y'all are thinking. This bitch is stupid. And yes, I'm not even gonna fight you on that. Something was obviously severely going on with my brain functions to even think that that was okay. One of the most toxic time periods in my life. Alrighty guys, so I am back and this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time of my first ever fight. The only fight I ever got in. 10 out of 10 would not fucking recommend. I could have literally went my whole life without having to go through that. But if you're the story time, make sure you comment down below and let me know in the description box down below. And hit that big old like button. But in and turn on all the notifications by clicking the gray notification bell and turning on all your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.